the Montreal Alouettes will visit the Ottawa Red Blacks on Saturday night, where they are two and a half point favorites, despite Kogi Fajardo reportedly being a game time decision for the second week in a row due to a shoulder injury. These two clubs met in week one with the Owls coming out ahead by four points, though that was before Dustin Crum was at the controls for Ottawa. Can the Red Blacks cover the short home spread? I loved what we saw from Dustin Crum this last week. He needed to show that he could go through more than one read. He needed to show that he could air the ball out and be accurate with his passes, not just in short dink and dunk, but in true like intermediate routes with occasional beep shots. And he did that brilliantly, I thought, against the Toronto Argonauts. With that said, I think the Alouettes have been the most underrated team in the CFL this year. Right now, they are 5-0 and against every team that is not Toronto, Winnipeg, BC, which I would call clearly the top tier of teams in the CFL. Montreal has beaten up on that second tier, including everybody else, but obviously Edmonton, who I think is clearly by themselves in the bottom tier. With Cody Fajardo, I'm taking the Owls in this game. If Cody Fajardo doesn't play, I'm very happy to take the Red Blacks and get points here. Caleb Evans was exactly what I thought Caleb Evans was last week. He completed eight passes in the win. Fortunately for the Owls, they got the ground game going with William Stanback. Even though he was out, they got it going with Joshua Antwi, who played Walter Fletcher, who had a huge play, and Caleb Evans, who himself is, is a good runner, but he's not a thrower. I don't think Montreal can do enough with Caleb Evans to win a second straight game. I would take Ottawa with Evans at the control for Montreal, but I'm taking the Owls if Fajardo plays. We are of one mind on this issue because I'm in the exact same boat. I think if Caleb Evans makes his second straight start, the Ottawa Red Blacks are a much better team with Dustin Crum at the helm than the Saskatchewan Rough Riders were last week with Jake Dolagala thrust into action, and they will win this matchup. Like if Kogi Fajardo is back and healthy, the, he is the better quarterback. If they have their starter back, then I'm going with the favorites in this one. 